Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? This is Dalsa Ediban for ZHM Entertainment. Here today, having a look at these two figures by Kotobukiya. Now, these are the Artifacts Plus statues based on the Arrow and Flash TV series um, versions of the character. Uh, the TV series, as we see on the CW. So, yeah, very, very excited about this. What I thought I'd do is I'd do a two-in-one review, you know, as it was sort of like a crossover. Though, I should mention, just as a disclaimer, these figures are sold separately. So, you're not going to find the two pack out there now what we what we're going to do is um and as is always the case we will consider both the aesthetics and the age factor so let's get right into it with the aesthetics so i think what we'll do is let's start with the arrow figure so we'll talk about this one first now when we talk about aesthetics what we mean is the overall visual appeal of a figure in other words how does this thing look you know does it do justice to the source material and what's it going to do for your display case basically so let's take it by the numbers now right off the bat i can tell you you know this character is well this figure rather is on target <laughs> see what i did there yeah so i mean it looks just like the green arrow you know as we see him in the series you know he's light powerful very very nicely done let's talk about the base though very very quickly so what we see over here is of course the standard now standard kotobukiya metal display with the arrow you know insignia on it. it has the felt under it's very very solid as you can see once you pop the figure on it's not likely to fall over or anything of the sort don't drag the figure across you might damage the paintwork over there just a standard disclaimer watch out for that now the figure itself as you can see it has the standard kotobukiya you know master class level of uh, attention to detail so as you can see you know some finely sculpted work over there all across the figure's uh, body you know the costume is brilliantly done it has like some different shades and textures of green and uh, some nice dry brush shading all throughout as well the face sculpt is on you know pretty decent representation of Stephen Amell himself so very, very happy with how that turned out and again like I said I'm just so happy with the detail you know the build is solid very very nice and as you turn the figure around, you know, you sort of see that attention to detail all throughout the back of the figure itself. So very, very nicely done. You know, um, I just want to talk very quickly about these arrows over here. Um, they are fixed. Okay, so these are not likely to move around. So aesthetically, you know, visually, you know, the, the, this thing is on point. I'm very, very happy with how this one turned out. With that being said, let's turn our attention to the flash. Now, I just want to start off by saying that I'm a major Flash fan, so, you know, I'm probably going to be a little bit more critical of this one as we start out. So, um, let's just talk about the head sculpt. So, as you can see, it has an unmasked head sculpt, though I should mention that the package also includes a masked head sculpt as well. So, I was very happy about that. You know, I do like getting extra accessories from Kota Bikia. So, you know, the... The, 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 the ability to swap out is quite nice now the figure itself you know i mean this thing is on point you know it looks just like how you know i would expect this thing to look you know just based on this thing on the series but let's talk very very quickly about the base first now once again metal plate metal plate over here i uh, turn it over it's got the felt on the underside over there so what you'll find is that it's not going to scratch your display case or anything there like that very very nice so the magnets very very solid once again once you pop it on not likely to fall over don't, you know, as always, place the figure on. Don't drag the figure across. Or, you know, don't do that because you might scratch the paintwork there. But, um, yeah, okay. So, coming back to the figure now. As you can see, you know, it has sort of like a shiny luster to it. You know, I'm quite happy with how that turned out. It looks very much like, you know, the sort of like leather slash pleather look that the actual costume has on TV. There is some nice, fine, you know, dry brushing all to uh, all throughout, you know, some subtle shading and what. You can't really see it with this camera, but I'm sure it's there. Now, the head scarf. Now, this does look very much like Grant Gustin. I mean, it's not photorealistic, but it's, it's pretty much on point. Overall, though, you know, as you can see, the figure is very very nicely done visually it's on point i'm quite happy with how it turned out and uh, yeah aesthetically both of these figures on point now crossover time let's talk about the h factor now the h factor is a generic standard that we use to determine the degree to which a figure makes one go ish with excitement or in contrast ish yeah with disappointment so let's take it by the numbers now what we see over here is two very very nicely sculpted figures i mean you know they have these basic sort of power poses you know that's what they're in so you know visually at least they look very very nice they will look very very nice in your display um 
overall the sculpt work the build all of that stuff very very nice you know i, I mean there's a lot of fine details all throughout the figures so i was quite happy to see that you know those items are there you see it especially on the arrow figure with all the little metal uh i'm gonna call them like rivets and whatnot now the flash itself as well you know just the way they do like the different textures the different you know sort of like shades on or uh, you know or, or, or all throughout the costume over there i'm quite happy with how that all came out you know i mean it's it's, it's really really great now where coach pakia really shines of course is with you know the way they do their paintwork so i was quite happy to see that they really nailed it with these two figures now what would i have liked to have seen yeah okay so as is always the case you know i i mean i'm always griping about how coach pakia doesn't give us enough accessories you know i mean while these figures look great we have seen other figures from coach pakia in the artifacts plus land where they had like all alternative head scalps or at least a couple extra hands or something like that so you can have like the figures in like you know like different sort of poses and whatnot the flash did have an extra head so i was happy with that uh doesn't take away from the innate value of the figures but it is something worth talking about so just to round it off that brings us to the end of this review i have to say that both the figures elicit a resounding ish with excitement you should probably go out and get them and that brings us to the end of this video review i do hope you enjoyed it so what i'd like you guys to do is like the video you know drop me a line in the comments if you have anything you'd like to add or share with me your opinions about the figure also be sure to subscribe and uh, click on the little bell over there so you can get notifications when the next video goes up i'll chat to you guys soon